are in Edisaira, Portugal. Super spontaneous trip. We went surfing in Norway and then on the way home from the surf, we looked at the forecast and then we booked the flight two days later. And now in Portugal. <laughs> Where did your wallet come from? I actually have no idea. just told us some all organic food made here that they put on the camp so in the camp you eat fresh food straight from here five minutes away from the camp if you want to get super healthy and surf you come here don't oh, no, forget about the donkey <laughs> Just uh, finished up a little surf session in Norway, like a two hour drive, surf two hour back. Not the, the best session I've ever had, but uh, at least we got to paddle a bunch. <laughs> yeah, and after surfing again, we got so hyped that we started looking at forecasts in Portugal. So maybe leave in one or two days. <laughs> We've been home, what, one day since Folgefona? Like just life is an adventure, you cannot stop. It's like, oh, I need to rest. And then you chill for like half a day and you're like, what can we do next? <laughs> Santa Claus was here earlier today. I guess he's confused with time. Flight. We never do that. It's so nice. So nice because then you get a whole day at home and then you fly instead of waking up at like four in the morning. Yeah, it's dark now, so we don't see. And then suddenly you wake up and it's ta da! Welcome to paradise. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Just looking at the waves. Not the worst view we've ever had. No. Definitely we live right there. Views. That circle window is out of your room. Yeah. That is our room. Right there. What's we on the waves. agenda? What's on the agenda? We're gonna get some delicious breakfast at the camp. And then we're gonna go surf. I don't know where yet. That's Joao is gonna tell us the best place for us today. Maybe stand up like two times. <laughs> Fins everywhere. So this is legend, Joao. What up? All good. He's our surf coach here in Portugal, showing us where to go, what to do, which girls to look at, which what to, to eat, what, what to eat. Which ones you avoid. What, re what restaurants are closed, <laughs> what are not. So we're, we're just going down here, huh? Yeah, just to check right. the reef breaks we have down at the, down at the camp. Yeah. They usually work quite nicely with high tide. Mm. So we're gonna give it a try. Probably not crowded, so let's let's hope. Let's Hey go! So the camp house right there, the waves everywhere. So Joao, every day we need to learn something new about either Erisaida or Portugal. So you're gonna be our teacher on that as well. When the French invaded Portugal and the king of Portugal ran to Brazil, he ran from the Ericeira port in the 18th century. So this is where the royal family ran. To Brazil and then after their son that born in Brazil became the first emperor of Brazil Dom Pedro because Brazil was a Portuguese colony so they ran from here their son born and grew up in Brazil and then he made the revolution and independence of Brazil so it is there is a little bit of history regarding Brazil history because this is where they ran to Brazil to run away from the French that's a crazy fact now now I'm oh not just a little bit smarter I'm a lot smarter but Ericeiro it's like the escape heaven. Look at this. We have two islands. We have the one that we're 
Tuesday, don't be a little bitch. Be a man. Yeah. Oh, a bit more tiring than snowboarding, huh? Yeah. Well, riding down the entire running logs is pretty tiring. True. But uh, for me, this is very tiring. I got two, two shitty ones. It's about time to get two good ones now. <laughs> You've been like shredding with that thing in your mouth, like almost getting in barrels. <laughs> Pretty tired, pretty stoked. Yep, there that seems pretty awesome. One o'clock update. A lot of paddling went down, probably 250 duck dives, and then maybe I was standing on four waves. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! I'm fuck. It's so frustrating being so shitty at something. But Spenny, you were ripping. Like to be honest, it was so sick to watch you today. Trim, can't say the same about you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now we gotta go maybe have a little nap, just go chill at the camp for a little bit, and then uh, have a mellow surf and stand up quite a bit, you know? Even famous as a surfer. Yeah. <laughs> With four waves, huh? <laughs> With four <laughs> waves. He can't even get five waves, but he can get the six. Mm, oh my god. We don't have that ability. Well, I've had three waves today, so I'm still thinking I have some possibilities, you know? I'm, I'm getting there, huh? Yeah. So he has two chicks now. Yeah. You have zero chicks, but you have three waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has four waves. Yeah. So it's when you get your fourth wave, so you get two just chicks. Go out. He's, he's out there. He's, he's occupied. Yeah, he's occupied. He's Let's gonna go have surf. to take five shots later because Trim's gonna get. Because the same bed applies to Trim. Heat's on, baby. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Not the worst day. I think the best session so far in the trip. Yeah. Told me I should have to get five waves. I think I got seven. Yeah. For me, that's good. Oh, it's good. You were killing. You were like trying like 360s and shit. I got, I got one good turn now. This gag, gag ball in your mouth. Yeah. This is epic, man. It's good. I'm actually going to use that word epic. Look at this. The days at La Pointe aren't too bad, and we yeah. still got fun little waves out the back. Yeah, and we live like right there. Yeah. Oh, black cliff. Yeah. It could be worse. It it's could be insane. worse for sure. Living the dream. I wish I could just stay here all summer. Early one for Stale, huh? 606. We definitely don't snowboard at this hour. No. Unless it's POW. Only thing that gets me up there so early is POW or surf. Huh. Huh. Waking up early to look at the waves? Yeah, you're not used to that, huh? Do you want a breakfast? I'm good, thanks. Yeah. So we got Ben. Thanks what up? The house. Random homie we found on Instagram. That's what's up, dude. That's how, that's how social media. It, it, that's social a, that's media a good, is pretty crazy. That's one of the it's great things way, about dude. Anyways, filmer from Chicago. Yeah. Yes, sir. He offered to film a uh, surfing site. We're probably not as good as the people that you normally <laughs> film, but uh, that's cool. It's practice. <laughs> it's practice filming, you know. Oi! So what do you call it? It's a bat? 
Just like a foam blank. It's like foam. It's just like. It's crazy, like shaping surfboards on that. It's like yeah. an art form, dude. It's oh, insane. Yeah. It used to be all by hand. Like just these electric planer, which is this little beast that's over here. The blanks that are up top there, if you look at them, they're super thick, chunky, and all that. I mean, back in the day, you used to spend hours with a planer. Design outlines, rocker lines, distribution of thickness, the kind of rails you want to put on them. You design all that into them. So you're doing all that in the program. So when it comes in here, you know, your finish shape, you gotta take lines out. You've gotta finish rails because they're still square up front, you know, there's still a lot to do on them. Yeah. But I mean, you just, you like fine tuning stuff in the end. This is the no, new La Pointe Hotel. <laughs> We've actually been staying here in the staff hey, part of the it's great. new it's building, it's but it's gonna be done in a couple weeks. And it's pretty massive, look at this place. The it's waves are right down there. I'm gonna take out the skate bowl. From here you see it, you know? The hotel, the waves, skate bowl. I guess they're building like a balcony, sit eating area, maybe a restaurant. I heard rumors about they're gonna have a spa too. What? It's gonna be a proper surf hotel. Look, this place is so sick, dude. Just yeah. Falling in love with Portugal. I learned yesterday from Spenny that doing this with your leash makes you a cook. Yeah. yeah. So, wait. I guess we're. I'm not wow, a cook. You're, you're, you're not a cook anymore. Yeah, I'm not a cook yeah, anymore. I'm, I'm still a cook. <laughs> I, I want people to understand that. <laughs>